Hello everybody, Yannick Chauvin here for Yannick's Photo School. Happy Monday to everybody. We're going to be doing a video tutorial today from Lightroom 2. And we will be looking at a, a feature in Lightroom 2 that we do not find in Photoshop as of yet. We hope that they'll insert it into Photoshop 4, but for now it's in Lightroom and it's called Luminance. Um, Basically what luminance is, is a brightness feature for specific color ranges. Now, why is this important? Well, it lets, it lets you uh, control certain aspects of each color, either by lightening them up or darkening them up. And we'll see how that can, af how, how that can affect certain images practically. Let's first of all find it. Where do I find uh, the luminance feature in Lightroom? You have to open your HSL color and grayscale uh, palette and you have to select HSL which stands for hue, saturation and luminance. And you want to select, of course, luminance. And once luminance is highlighted, you'll get all your colors right here that you can play with. Now, the three examples we'll be looking at today is a sunset or sunrise, a blue sky and a fashion uh, shot. So basically skin tones. Now let's look at a, a beautiful sunrise here that I took at around 4.30 in the morning on Il Perro. In the background we see the island of Montreal and uh, we got this lovely shot with the sailboat and I just want to give this photo some punch. Now I could use um, the contrast feature, I could bring down the exposure to bring the colors up uh, more saturated. But what we'll do, we'll just focus on specific colors this time instead of affecting the whole image. So let's look at our oranges here. Now, if I go up, it'll bring the colors brighter. In other words, it'll wash the colors out. So what we want to do is the opposite. You want to bring the colors down and it'll actually give it a nice saturation uh, boost to it. We can do the same thing if we want to affect the blue sky, the blue clouds, um, the, some blues in the water. So just bring it down, give it a nice dramatic look. I love that word, dramatic. So there we go. In two little slider moves, we've, um, we've increased the beauty of this sunset. That's tip number one. Practical tip number two using the luminance is with a blue sky. Let me go here into my library, into my quick collection for this tutorial, back into the develop module. And here we have a lovely scene of the beginning of the Rockies in, um, in Alberta. Um, it looks all right. This photo has been un uh, unprocessed as of yet. But all I want to show you right now by using the luminance slider is that you can actually pretend that you had a polarizing filter on there. And what a polarizing filter does is that it increases your, your blue saturation, actually the contrast between the blues and the white clouds. And we can do that using the blue slider again and going into the negative. So just by bringing it down like so, we've just increased the contrast between the sky and the clouds. This is the before shot. And by using one simple slider, the luminance slider in Lightroom, we've uh, increased the contrast here. Of course, after that, I can go play with saturation if I feel like it and all the other features for the rest of the image. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we want to focus on what luminance does to a blue sky, and that's what it does. Now, the last example we'll be looking at is a fashion shot and how luminance can affect skin tones. Let me select a fashion shot here that I took in Calgary. And all I've done to this image up to now is a bit of contrast and I made sure my, my background was all nice and cleaned up. I haven't touched the skin up in any way, shape or form. Now, contrary to, to the other two features that we looked at, the other two examples, uh, sorry, we were going down in luminance. This time we're going to be going up. We want to reduce the saturation in the oranges, in the skin tones. And basically what that does, it'll brighten the skin up. Let me just show you here what it does. 
There you go. You don't want to go overboard. It, it's like a, a more real-life version of the Photoshop filter called Diffused Glow, but you don't get that fake look to the Diffused Glow. Um, it's actually very, very uh, cool. Let's look at 100% so that you can see what, what the effect was. So this is before and this is after applying it. So you don't get this uh, weird fuzzy glow around it. It really specifically affected the oranges. Now this is a, a, a hidden secret for, by many um, fashion photographers that do use Lightroom. Or if it's not, it might become one. Um, <laughs> so all you need to do is play with the luminance slider in the positive to bring that nice healthy uh, glow and as um, a bit of like a, a fill light to the skin to soften the features up a little bit too. So there you have it. Three um, practical ways of, lo of, uh, of uh, using the luminance slider. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.